now taking another step forward to put the brakes on drunk driving. Over the last few years, James River Transportation has taken part in a test program with new alcohol detection technology. And now that tech will embark on a new adventure all across the country. On your side at six, Karina Bolster joining us live with how this works. Karina. Well, Kurt, the DMV has teamed up with a Nash or a rather a traffic safety group along with a national trucking company to really test out a new version of an alcohol detection sensor. So essentially a breathalyzer that would be put in the cabs of tractor trailers. Again, this is just one step or the next step in trying to find the best technology to make the roads a bit safer and save lives. Drunk driving remains our number one traffic safety problem, costing us billions of dollars in economic damages, but worse, unquantifiable grief to families and communities. On average, drunk driving kills roughly 10,000 people each year in the U.S. It's why in 2018, the Commonwealth embarked on its Driven to Protect initiative, working with the Driver Alcohol Detection System for Safety Program. Drivers with James River Transportation were the first to test out these alcohol detection sensors. For them, um, it was fun because they're part of the solution. Those sensors were placed discreetly in the driver door panel and behind the steering wheel. But now that technology will be tested among Schneider truck drivers. Schneider will outfit a total of eight tractors with breath sensors in 2022. The driver simply blows into the sensor, which will then calculate your blood alcohol concentration, or BAC. As if you're blowing a candle. Um, and, you know, hopefully in the very near future, you won't even need to do that. You're just breathing passively and, and normally, and the sensor will pick it up. That type of technology is currently being tested in vehicles that you or I would drive with the hope of rolling it out to the public by 2024. That would allow the car to start, but if your BAC is at or above the legal limit, it won't move. I don't think there will be much pushback. I mean, I think the... The masses do agree you shouldn't drive while impaired. You know, seat belts really made a big difference in saving lives. This is our next step. We got to we have to eliminate or help eliminate drunk driving. Now, there is a study out there that shows this kind of technology could help save up to 9,000 lives each year. Again, the hope is that some of these transportation companies will really jump on board with this idea once the product hits the market. Live and on your side in Richmond, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. Accurate.